Hello world, here we are at a really busy place. Right. It's the first weekend in Queensland that lockdown's been released and as you can see, everybody is out. I've never seen it so busy. Feels like a pretty chilly day. We got invited to out go of... bushwalking to go to Twin Falls. So... Yeah, a place called Twin Falls. We have never been before. We've had to put our jumpers on. And it's freezing cold too. It is pretty cold. <laughs> He's feeling cold. National Park. Looks like we're heading on a three hour walk. Busy track. Just a quiet little bush walk. Can't honestly believe that we've lived in this region for so long we've never been here. Yeah. This is really pretty. I think this is prettier than Perlingbrook. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Well, we've come with a group of people, but we can't stop stopping and filming, and they've kept on walking up ahead. Yeah, this really is such a picturesque place. Such a beautiful walk and a beautiful track. And there's no way we're gonna be keeping up with the people ahead because we have to keep stopping and filming. Such narrow, windy tracks. Really amazing walk through here. The green behind the gold. I knew this place was gonna be popular, but this is crazy. Half of the Gold Coast has come out here today to check this place out. Wow, look at the lights here. If you like the rainforest, you're gonna love this place. So much rainforest. I think we should keep going. Can you believe it's such a beautiful place that we didn't even know about? No. Isn't it absolutely spectacular? I keep saying that, absolutely it's spectacular. It's like Falls actually and I haven't been there for years. The local word is that it's going to rain heaps apparently, which is not really what I was hoping for. I think we're definitely going to come back here on another day when there's not so many people here. What's your opinion of this place, Rach? I could spend days here. There's just so much to photograph. It's absolutely stunning. And actually photographed just don't do it justice. It is the most beautiful place I've been. It's like a valley of waterfalls. It's just beautiful. I mean, in full rain, it would just be stunning. It's just magnificent.
thing about carrying these bags too is they get bloody heavy. They were already heavy on my back before I even left the car park. Now they're as heavy as crap. Wow, this is amazing. It's just never ending. Okay, so how far have we walked so far? A um, couple of kilometres, I think, maybe about three or something. I think next time when we come on a walk like this, it's not a good idea to come with a whole group when you're a photographer and cinematographer. Well, we've never been here before though, so we wouldn't have found it without them. But the thing is, they all want to keep walking. Yeah, because they're bushwalkers. And we want to keep stopping. Yeah, but that's all right. I told them to not wait for us, so they haven't. Yeah. Mm. This place is spectacular. It's gorgeous. I could spend days here. I'm gonna, this is definitely a place I'll come back to. And this is called Twin Falls? Twin Falls Circuit. Right. Well, check it out when you're on the Gold Coast next. Twin Falls. Twin Falls near Purling Brook, but not Purling Brook. It's up near Springbrook. Yes, it is. Well, we're basically in Springbrook, yeah. We're gonna keep walking. Let's go. Just discovering, after all this walking, I thought we'd reached the destination, but we haven't. We haven't even got the Twin Falls yet. I'm the slowest person in the group today, but that's because I keep stopping to film stuff. It almost reminds me of a scene from The Hobbit. Yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? If you're going to film The Hobbit in Australia, you'd have to come here, wouldn't you? I haven't been to the bottom of Perlingbrook Falls for a long time, but this is pretty cool. I don't know if this will be able to capture it, but that's all the buildings on the Goldie. Well, it's beautiful, this sunlight breaking through the trees. This is just gorgeous. You can't walk further than three meters without stopping taking a photo. No. <laughs> We've well and truly lost our group. Getting that shot, Rach? Uh huh. And the trusty iPhone. So if we haven't got the Twin Falls yet, I wonder how much further it is. If you ever stuck out here, you wouldn't have trouble finding a place to huddle overnight, would you? No. I think we've reached another waterfall. 16 kilometers we won't get back to Fodor. That is so cool, walking through there. That's just spectacular. I can't believe I've never been to this place before. How cool is that? You walk under the waterfall along the track. I can't photograph them, but look at all the glow worms on the side really? there, yeah. It's very difficult to see in this video, but we've passed lots of glow worms and there's even more glow worms up on this wall. You can't really tell from the video, but there's little lights all over this wall. It might be better when it gets dark. Well, this is like a never ending journey. Is it 16 k's down that way? Yeah, this is 1.3 k's. Do you want to go this way or do you want to stay there 
and wait for them to come back. I definitely don't think we'll make the 16k loop today. No. Not if we're walking. No, we'd have to start really early in the morning. Yeah. We'd have to set off at just after breakfast. Yeah. Wow, Rach. This is just amazing through here. This is why the Gold Coast is so beautiful. It's about what's behind the Gold Coast. It's absolutely breathtaking. This is the kind of place Peter Lick would like. I reckon. Peter Lick is a uh, famous Australian photographer, made a name for himself photographing America, uh, of all way. places. In Australia, firstly. Yeah. So do you think we'll make it back to the car park before dark, Rach? Um, yeah, if we don't dawdle. Well, that's... Because it'll be dark at five. It's most unlikely for us not to dawdle, since you keep stopping about every 20 seconds to take a photo, and I keep stopping every 30 seconds to do a bit of filming. Definitely an adventure. This place is fantastic. Just can't believe all the different shades of green. That's a cool shot with the sun. See it coming through? Yeah, it's gorgeous. A big waterfall. Yeah. starting to feel cold yeah. because the weather's closing in on us. Oh, smells wonderful. What is it? Tea tree. Where? Just here. Oh, oh so good. Is that tea so, tree? Yeah. Hmm. Does smell very nice, very healthy. Misty. It looks really tall from here. It does. Okay. So, what would you rate this place out of 10, Rach? Oh, 11. That's pretty much the end of this vlogging adventure. The rain has come in. Fortunately, it's come in right at the end. How much further we've got to walk to get back to this car park, Rach? It's turned from a a lush tropical rainforest walk into a winter in Sydney walk. We could be up on North Hedder somewhere. No different. Oh, big puddle. You're not stopping to take another photo, are you, Rach? Can't help yourself. I love giving Rach a hard time about stopping to take photos because I'm actually much more annoying than she is. I tend to stop about at least every minute without fail. Wow, another great view. Look at that. Wow. Now that is a big orchid according to Rach. I don't know what color it is, but look at it, stunning. I haven't seen anything like that before. That'd like, look spectacular when it was in bloom. It would. It's been a long journey. 
think we've almost come to the edge of it. We're back at the car park. The track is soaking wet. Wow, there's been a lot of rain up here. Where did we go today, Rach? So we did this one, which is the twin full circuit walk. We came back and we're back up here now. Car park. What's the big one? This is the big one here. Wow, the size of that There's 16 walk. kilometers, but look at all the waterfalls. You've got Twin Falls, Tamarame Falls, Rainbow Falls, Bijangulara wow. Falls, Bujalara Falls, Gumalara Falls, Kajaguma Falls, Nagaradam Falls, Garuba Falls, Punyara Falls, Pundara Falls, Blackfellow Falls. So I guess um, they've given them all indigenous names so how now. How far what we did today? 4.2 return. Oh yeah, the licorice things. Yum. These are going to be good. Come on. These things are nice. Yum. Wow, how cool is that air? It's so cold. Sorry to our walk group that are actually back at the car park, which is probably like a kilometre away. We're just going to stay up here and do what we do, always do, and that is film and photograph to the sunset. That's right. Film until we run out of light. It's been a good adventure, hey Rach? Beautiful. So I've got to recommend this to you. If you ever come to the Gold Coast, make sure you come up and check out Twin Falls at Springbrook. It's absolutely amazing. Waterfalls, and rainforest, and swimming. Anyway guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully see you on the next one.